Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot in the Kitchen. Today we're going to make a thin crust pizza. It's quick and it's healthy. This recipe makes either one large pizza or two medium ones. Preheat your oven at 450 degrees. For the dough, you're going to need two cups of whole grain wheat flour, three quarts of a cup of warm water where you're going to put a tablespoon of yeast, stir it up, and let it sit there while you prepare the rest of your ingredients, two tablespoons of oil, I'm using safflower oil because it's rich in vitamin E, a tablespoon of baking powder, half a tablespoon of salt or to taste, an egg, and I'm using a little bit of cayenne pepper because I want a spicy crust. You also will need, of course, a rolling pin and a little extra flour to dust on your work area when you stretch it out. For a quick sauce, you can use two cans of tomato sauce, eight ounce cans, another two tablespoons of oil, a tablespoon of flour, a tablespoon of oregano, and salt and pepper to taste. For my toppings, today I'm using two cans of tuna, in water of course, two cups of mushrooms, a jalapeno, three ounces of cheese, and half a bunch of spinach. First, we're going to mix all the dry ingredients, flour, baking powder, salt, and my cayenne pepper. Once that's done, you add a little bit of oil and mix it thoroughly as well. This is really only so that it doesn't stick too much and to give it a little bit of elasticity. Then we add our egg. Same thing, try to Mix it evenly. You can really add anything you want to your dough. Today I'm only adding cayenne pepper, but you can also add herbs or other spices. You can add cilantro, garlic, basil, oregano, paprika, whatever you want to add. Once you have all that ready, you add your water that has had the yeast activating in it. Once your dough is ready, you can start stretching it out. You need to put a little bit of flour on your surface, on your dough, and your rolling pin. And start stretching out. I have a very small oven, so I can't fit two medium pizzas, so I use this big, extra large square pan. So I have to stretch it. A good tip for stretching out dough is don't roll all the way to the end. Don't go over the end, but and stop there. And continue to the other side. And then, of course, flip. And then go to the other side, just like that. Once your dough is ready and stretched out to the right size, you can go ahead and put it on your tray. Of course, it's good to oil the tray so that the dough won't stick. 
I like using these brushes because it gives you a thin but even coat of oil on your tray. And you can roll the edges into the crust. It will be nice and crunchy when everything's done. Homemade pizza, it doesn't have to look perfect, but it'll taste perfect. There you go. And once you have that, you can start on your sauce. Now for the sauce. It's very easy and quick to make. You're going to put your two tablespoons of oil on the pan. And your tablespoon of flour. This is just to give it a little bit of thickness. And once the flour is nice and brown, then you can dump the tomato sauce in there. Be careful, tomato boils up very easily. And stir Then you add your oregano, salt, and pepper. that's ready, you can put your topping. I'm going to make half tuna and half veggie since I can't make two different pizzas. I'm just going to split it in half. I'm going to do half tuna. And in the oven it goes. 
Leave your pizza in the oven for 20 minutes, but make sure to check on it regularly. Let it cool, slice, and enjoy.